Now see moment of inertia of a thin circular ring. See uh, if you have got a ring like this and you have to calculate its moment of inertia. Here the mass is uniformly distributed along the circumference of the ring. So, we cannot directly calculate I is equal to m r square because if the body is consist of the discrete particles then we can apply I is equal to m r square. If the masses are uniformly distributed then we have to use another concept that is the concept of summation that is integration. Suppose this is a ring of radius r. Now, you want to calculate its moment of inertia along this axis this is here y o y dash. It means this axis passing through the center of the ring and perpendicular to the plane of the ring. Now, in this case how do we calculate moment of inertia? Suppose the mass of the ring is m and circumference is obviously 2 pi r. So, first we can calculate mass per unit length. So, mass per unit length is equal to that is m upon 2 pi r that is called linear mass density also. First we assume a small element of length d x. So, mass of mass of small element d x is d m is equal to m upon 2 pi r into d x. Now, first we calculate moment of inertia of this small element. So, we can write d i is equal to d m r square by this way d m is the mass and r is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. Now, put the value of d m you will be getting m upon 2 pi r d x into r square this and this r will get cancelled you will be getting m r upon 2 pi d x and this is d i. So, this is the moment of inertia of this element. Now, if you want to calculate moment of inertia of this whole ring just you integrate it. So, when you integrate it here you just write d i is equal to m r upon 2 pi that is a constant part here d x 0 to 2 pi r. So, after integration you will be getting here i is equal to m r upon 2 pi that is 2 pi r. So, this this cancels. So, i is equal to m r square. So, if the body does not consist of the discrete particles then we can calculate moment of inertia by using the integration or the summation process. So, now we have calculated moment of inertia of the ring about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to the plane of the ring and that moment of inertia i is equal to m r square. So, you have calculated moment of inertia this formula. Now, if you want to calculate moment of inertia about the its diameter, diameter of the ring. Suppose, you have got a ring and you take its two perpendicular diameters. Suppose, this is L and M and this is P and Q. These are the two diameters perpendicular to each other and another about this axis which is passing through the center I know the moment of inertia about this that is m r square which is this. We, ca we can use your perpendicular axis theorem. So, we can write here m r square is equal to I L m plus I P Q. Since we get a symmetrical, so these two are equal. So, we can write I L m is equal to I P Q is equal to I D. I D stands for the moment of inertia about its diameter. So, we can write here m r square is equal to twice of I D. So, I D is equal to m r square by 2. So, when the ring rotates about an axis about its diameter, the moment of inertia is m r square by 2. To this we have calculated by using perpendicular axis theorem. So, this is an application of also perpendicular axis theorem. So, we can also calculate moment of inertia of the ring about a tangent perpendicular to the plane of the ring. Suppose, this is a ring and this is the axis we can take and we know this moment of inertia and now there is a tangent also which is perpendicular to the plane of the ring. 
suppose this I have given here A and B, this distance is R. Now, if you want to calculate moment of inertia about an axis A B, then you, we can use parallel axis theorem, because this axis is passing through the center and parallel to this A B. So, we can write here I A B is equal to I Y O Y dash plus M R square, that is the total mass of the ring and square of the perpendicular distance between two axes. So, this is here we can write m r square plus m r square because we know this is m r square about this axis. So, that is 2 m r square. So, we have calculated here the moment of inertia about a tangent which is perpendicular to the plane of the ring using parallel axis theorem. 